Hey, what's up, guys? So, I wanted to do a discussion, talk about, do a video about how depression, anxiety, PTSD has affected me as an artist, person, individual. Um, I seen a video out there of my boy Art Silva from high school. He did a video about um, mental health and different things he's had to deal with and seen and how he's helped people. And um, I thought it'd be good, you know, to get some stuff out there, maybe shed some light why things have been so difficult for me but not only me but you know other people out there that don't have depression anxiety PTSD can maybe understand somebody else that does um, symptoms things they go through so for example like right now I have really bad high anxiety being on video um, anytime I put the camera on, ever since I was in high school, I just always get nervous, but like, cold sweats, um, my heart races, it's hard for me to think, it's hard for me to relate thoughts or, uh, think about what I want to say most of the time, but I've gotten better over time, forcing myself to work on it, um, being on stage as an artist, it's one of the hardest things. Um, you got people scrutinizing you, you looking at you. But as an artist, you gotta get that out of your head. And you gotta realize if you're at a show, the people are there to see you. You know, they paid money, they went to that event, whoever it is that they came to see, you're a part of that. And it's been hard for me to deal with. You know, we gotta be honest. I've gotten better. <clears throat> but sometimes it just comes back and there are shows that um, I forget my lyrics or I just can't get the right tone of voice and yeah it's been really difficult with that aspect um, depression I'm always procrastinating I'm always putting things off I've gotten better at that um, one of the uh, a good artist friend that I was working with for a while told me, you know, anytime you think about something, anytime you want to do something, just do it. Don't think about it. And um, I get, I get lax with that, and I start to, uh, you know, recluse back into old habits of doing it over and over. But then I get on myself and I get back into that, and I find that it is a thousand percent better to just do it than rather think on it as soon as you think about it you're not gonna do it um trying to put yourself out put myself out there has been one difficult thing too um trying to not feel like a burden not feel like you're spamming people bugging them but at the same time wanting people to know that you have been working on your music and that you've gotten better that you take it serious as a business that you aren't just half fast in it um you know doing the most or my new hoping for the most you know where for a lot of years that's what I was doing um as part of the depression aspect not really really wanting to hear any outside criticism or anybody else tell me anything about it until one day I just decided okay let's do this and um that was a big step allowing you know one of this artist homies that worked with me get inside my head but once I did that it helped me see things total different aspect and um increased tenfold upon just everything that I was doing and the production value and the quality and patience and taking it serious. Now, I'm still bad with patience. Um, 
wanting to get attention from social media, getting likes, uh, views, see the uh, numbers increase, always chasing that is a constant struggle for myself as an artist, but not only that, as an individual, wanting to feel like you're relevant or uh, have a place in this world when there's, you know, billions of people out there, but then in the same aspect, nobody really engages or uh, associates with you for one reasoning or another, you know, and that aspect becomes really, really hard as an artist, but not only that, as a human, social media has... Cause that to happen, but in the same time, you have self-control, and with that aspect, I've lacked that, and I've tried to get better with it, and um, I'm working on that. PTSD, um, I've had a lot of scenarios, a lot of chaotic scenarios, situations, shootouts, stabbings, myself being stabbed, seeing other friends, fights. Just different scenarios, situations I've been in, saving people, saving chicks. Definitely hard. Um, not the easiest thing to deal with. Pretty good. I got a good handle on it. But it does mess with me a lot. Um, can't really say too much about the case that I've been dealing with for the last two years with my son. Just know I didn't lose him. Um, but I have been fighting to get him back and that's all I can really say. I'm about to get him back soon. And it's been, a, it's, it's been really hard on me mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, having him away from me for so long, for such a long period of time, for an extended period of time. Sporadic periods where my visitation isn't consistent, except you know, things like that. Um, so yeah, um, PTSD is an interesting thing. Not everybody's PTSD is the same. Somebody can have it, but have different symptoms, different triggers. Whatever helps some individual may not help another individual. It's definitely hard. And the best thing you can do is just be there and try to learn the things that help that individual and um, push a hobby or some type of craft, um, something for them to look towards, um, I find is the best thing. You know, helping people realize that the nine to five monotonous same day doing the same thing isn't good for mental health for your psyche. Changing it up and doing something that you love, no matter how minute it is, can help you just improve your positivity towards doing something or helping somebody else. And it can help you meet other individuals also. You know, um, when you get into a hobby, nor normally you need to learn how to do it. So you seek other people that are good at it, <clears throat> advice or uh, techniques. And when you do that, it opens you up to conversations, to getting to know that person. And then that can become a friendship. There's many artists, producers, beat makers, DJs, fans that I've met that because we've worked together or they were inspired or some aspect, we became, I wouldn't say friends, but associates, you know, we talk a lot, um, check on each other. We want to know how each other are doing positively. And then you, sometimes you lose those friendships because it doesn't sometimes feel real because you're not in front of the person and you don't have contact. But nowadays it's like, that's how technology and that's how um, social media has gotten things. And those relationships can be real. 
and they can be very positive and very good for you and seeking somebody who has the same ambitions goals uh outlooks on life or even opposite but it gives you somebody to bounce things off of um to say hey this is what i was thinking about this am i right am i wrong mental health hey i'm feeling like this what should i do what has worked for you anything that i've done hasn't really worked and that can be a really positive thing you know in somebody's life and so a hobby and pushing social friendships, getting people out into the sun. But music has been a huge thing for me. Um, not only creating in the last six years, you know, finally deciding that I wanna have a career out of this and actually distribute my music and publish it and license it, but just Music in general has gotten me through so many aspects and things in life. I just turn up whatever is the song I want to hear at that time and blur it. Without music, I don't, I don't know. You know, and I've met people that they don't really like music. They, I listen to it here and there, but it's like, I don't understand how you get through like it. I, just, I have to have it all the time something in the background something in my ears <clears throat> and if an individual person is depressive maybe uh, introducing them to a new album or a new genre you know because a lot of people get stuck in like oh I only like rap or I only like country or I only like house see I listen to everything from techno house rock rap blues Jazz, it's just anything. Um, everything's a uh, tool, another way of thinking about something. A lot of times I'll put on country just to see if I can freestyle to it. I'll put on jazz just to see if I can freestyle it. Polka, it's a challenge, you know. And people get stuck in a spectrum. And um, I, I just don't understand that. And so music friendship you know social interactiveness and um giving a person a hobby are three main things that i could suggest if you see a person that just seems like they're tired of life doing the same thing they just don't see any reason to keep going on you know i've met a lot of people they're at the end of the rope they just they don't know what to do. I've been there. You know, I've been homeless five times in my life. And I've gotten off every time, sucked it up, got myself a job, you know, found different avenues, resources, homeless shelters, you know, things like that to get help. And I'm not proud of it. I, I hate using that as <clears throat> anything but a experience in a this is why you shouldn't do or make the same choices I have or this is why you shouldn't go down that route that's why I do my music it's what the main message never give up is you know if you got a dream if you want to do better in life if you want to change being in that black hole that rut that catch 22 and you want to get out whether you're addicted to something alcohol drugs abusive relationship you can get out you just you got to do what it takes take steps talk to somebody learn um like i was saying people get you know stuck in one type of music but also people get stuck in a way of life because it's just comfortable and it's just become well this is how it is and nah you know i've been there too i've gotten stuck in some really really dark coals and did not see a way out but there is and if you want it you got to do what it takes full-heartedly much love peace out